fathers in the Lord, someone I respect so much. It's not that he's even having a, uh, a close contact with me, but even with that far away, he's my father and he has had a lot of, a lot of influence in my life. And he's not just a father to, maybe some of us also may know him, he's a respected person in Nigeria. Even when we say that gospel is, um, is being, you know, adulterated and people are doing whatever they like, it's still one man that God has helped to stand and stand tall. And I want us to pray about this issue of kidnapping in Nigeria. I know some of us are not from Nigeria, but please just pray. Let's pray for Nigeria tonight and pray for the sake of this, my father. Is to, his son is to get married to, and is preparing to do a marriage for his son. And um, the church member left, or the fellowship member left from Boko to uh, coming to Elorin and in Benin City. I think Benin City, yes, the kidnapper stopped the bus and kidnapped the people. Only the driver and I think two other brothers, they, they escaped. The person that um, drove the bus escaped. So that's about maybe just three of them inside a coaster that would take like uh, uh, 15, maybe 14 people. And uh, you know, so that's brother Billy Akoni. He wants to do a wedding, and that's not that's a man that you know I've had a lot of influence in my life. Now that's a program that is coming on the way for ministers. His son supposed to get married, you know. Now they have kidnapped them, so we want to pray. We want to pray, you know. I just have that body. We want to pray for this. I don't know. How many of us know Brother Billy Akone here? Oh, that's a great man of God. This must not stop anything that, all the joy that he has planned. Let's read Daniel chapter 6. I we going to use that to just intercede. And I know some of us, we have been praying. And you know, and I think we should be praying more. Two days again, Maybe, yeah, maybe two days again, those of us that live in Badon, you will know where there's Queen's, uh, is it Queen's College? Just like they did for the, um, those girls, is it Shibok girls? I know Queen's College also, that is guys college. The kidnappers, they went there. They killed the gatekeeper. But thank God, those girls escaped. But that's, uh, that's, not a, that's, that's not a good thing. That's just a south, yes, southwest, the inside of it that should not even, that is not even close to the north or anything. And this one of Brock Bile happens, you know, in Benin City. Benin also is not in the north. It's showing that, I know some of us are realizing, it's showing that, you know, the, the enemy is just arranging this wickedness and arranging it more and more. But we want to pray. We want to pray. So, please, let's trust in all the last. The enemy is doing everything that he can do to make sure that the gospel is, that the land that have been having peace, that have been enjoying peace, to make sure that uh, there is no peace. But we know by the grace of God, peace will reign in that country. All those kidnappers, the Lord will arrest them. Every power that is behind them, all their foundation will collapse. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daniel chapter 6. You want to read first. Uh, first 21 to 23. Yeah. 21 to 23. So, 
And this happened in Edo State, and um, because I think I'm missing them up. Edo is not the same thing with Bini, right? Oh, it's just it's the same? Bini is the capital. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, uh, okay. So, we, and we see that's, uh, that's Sibo land. And this one, Yoruba land, those are places that we still consider safe. It's what kind of land? It's part of. Uh, uh, okay, so please let let us pray. And you, I know most of us we have people. We have people, you know. Be, and now when they are coming close and coming close like that, God forbid that they come into redemption camp. God forbid. God forbid. We have to just pray. Then said, O Daniel, unto the king, O king, live forever. Verse 22. My God has sent his angel, and he has shown the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. We want to cry unto God. Daniel said, The Lord has shown the mouth of lions. These lions! That are rampaging people, rampaging the state. These lions, wherever the peace house, brethren, are right now, shut their mouths. Let there be no hurt in the name of Jesus. Let's lift our voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, shut all the lions, shut their mouths in the name of Jesus. The mouth of all the kidnappers, Lord, shut them in the name of Jesus. Let there be no heart in the name of Jesus. As you release Daniel in the, in, in the days of lions, let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released in the name of Jesus. Let them be released in the name of Jesus. Brethren, please let's pray. The country must be free. Let them be released in the name of Jesus. Let them be released. Lord, as you show the mouth of lions, Lord, let them be released in the name of Jesus. Wherever they may be now, Lord, let there be peace for them in the name of Jesus. See the mouth of these lions. See their mouth in the name of Jesus. Let their weapons, Lord, be rendered useless in the name of Jesus. Let their weapons be rendered useless. In the mighty name of Jesus, let their weapons be rendered useless. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, see their mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to pray for Nigeria. That all this lion that has scattered all over Nigeria, Lord, see their mouth. Render their weapons useless. See their mouth. See their mouth. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that are in their, in their camp now. Everyone that have been captured. We use Lord Father the brethren of peace house. We use them as a point of contact. Let them be released. Let them be released. In Makete le brosunto libra dei. Mikete la granda brosunto libra dei. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible says, touch no my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Let there be no harm for them. Let there be no harm for them. In the name of Jesus, no harm, no harm, no harm for them. In the name of Jesus, all this lion that has scattered, in all the bushes, Lord, in all the bushes, in dark places, Lord, shut their mouth, expose them. Wicked their strength in the name of Jesus. Wicked their powers in the name of Jesus. Set Nigeria free from the hand of these kidnappers. Set Nigeria free from the hand of these who loves. Set Nigeria free from this hand of from the hand from the hand of these strangers in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise in the name of Jesus. Arise, Lord. Arise, Lord. Arise, Lord. In your power, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Arise, Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. Thank you, Father, because you have heard our cry. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as we are praying, we declare those brethren, we declare them free. Free from the mouth of lions. Free from the hands of these kidnappers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for Nigeria as a country. Lord, over the matter of Nigeria, Lord, arise. Arise, Lord. All your enemies in Nigeria, let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let their weapons of warfare be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let their weapons be rendered useless in the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit your servant, brother Billy, I to your hand. Lord, you will strengthen him. You will strengthen mommy, Shadi, I in the name of Jesus. Strengthen all the brethren of peace house at this time in the name of Jesus. All the program that is on the way, Lord, I pray that nothing will hinder it. The wedding of his son, nothing will stop it. We commit the couples unto your hand. Their joy will not turn to bitterness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are standing on holy ground, and I know that there are angels all around. Worship God before we begin to pray. We are in his Sing that song with the depth from the depth of your heart. Sing it like you understand that God is in this place. He is here. His presence is here. His name is here. His power is here. Sure 
declare your lordship over this meeting again because we know that you are higher higher than all higher than all trouble higher than all our struggles higher than all our situation there is no impossibility with you Lord tonight Lord as we cry unto you Lord as we lift our voice Lord show forth your strong self strong on our behalf in the name of Jesus let every knee bow let every situation bow let every problem bow let every discomfort bow tonight in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus mighty name we pray amen amen let's have a seat for some moment and I want you to please get set tonight to pray because I know that you are here to pray this few moments we have to the remaining moment we have to pray please pray please pray please pray I will just share maybe one way for us to experience comfort experience God's comfort we are just share two scriptures before because our time has gone so we can have some time to pray and I will start um, that I will start from where Sister Tosin have stopped. That God is our template. And because God is a comforter himself, he wants us to be giving comfort. And we shall give comfort in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So one way to experience comfort, Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. Thank God they have defined comfort. Thank God, bra. People have defined the comforter for us so much and have told us our comforter is God Himself and the Holy Spirit is our comforter. So, even though maybe later we can be talking more on that, but for the time that we have tonight, I just want to show us some ways for us to experience comfort. Comfort. Genesis chapter 18 from verse 1. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. So I wanted to mark that word in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him and when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort you your heart that you shall pass on. For therefore are you come to your servant. And he said, so do as thou hast said. One way for all to experience comfort is to be hospitable. Is to be hospitable. And I choose this particular scripture to let us see that because sometimes it's difficult for us to render hospitality to people when you yourself, you are not in comfort. You know, when you yourself feel that you are in trouble, when things are eating you up, you say, well, let the heat just continue eating everybody up. No. And another reason I should this is I, I think I want to share this among all the things I have in my notes. It's because I discovered these days the enemy is defeating us by pushing us away from the place of hospitality. This day, we are becoming callous, becoming um, 
unmerciful, becoming, we don't want to entertain people freely, except there is something that you know that is coming for it. This day, this word, Bible says, Jesus, our God anointed Jesus, Acts chapter 10, verse 38, with Holy Ghost and with power and going about doing what? Doing good. And I think, you know, healing will have been the first thing. But no, doing good. Doing good. Doing good. Even with the Holy Ghost that was upon him, he was doing good. Doing good to people. Like those have said, you know, it's our template, it's a comfort, and so you want us to comfort people. Let the situation you are passing through, let it not stop you or hinder you from rendering comfort to people. We saw in this place, maybe, you know, I told you to mark that word, eat of the day. There is something that was eating this man up. This our father Abraham. It was not just the ordinary heat of the day. It was the heat of barrenness. And he could not sit inside. I don't know the kind of trouble or stress that Mama Sarah was giving to him. And the Bible said that, you know, he just sat by the tent door, by the door, he could not enter his house. He could not relax in the house because something was sitting him up. That's enough. That is enough for him to close his eyes to the people that are going, to anybody. It's, it, we just say, well, I have my own trouble. Let them be. I don't know where they are coming from. I don't even know them. And you know, I want us to still know as Christians, angels are still real. Angels are still real. And that's why you must not stop doing good because you will not know when you entertain angels. You will not know when you entertain angels that's going to bring comfort unto you. Abraham, even with all that he was going through, that God called him fathers of nations. There were prophecy upon his head that have not been coming to fulfillment. And by the grace of God tonight, every prophecy that have gone ahead of you will come to fulfillment tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those words that God has said concerning you, they will come to fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Those words, those prophecy, God himself said, that you will be called, you will no longer be called Abraham, but you will be called Abraham, you will become fathers of nations. But yet, this prophecy was there, waiting for one good act. Waiting for one day, it will bring comfort to angels. It will bring comfort to angels. And the time will not permit me to share with you several angels that God wants you to begin to bring comfort to. And most of the time when we talk about angels, the only one we limit ourselves to is just thinking about pastor or the man of God. Fine, that is one of them. But those are not major. There are orphans. There are orphans. There are widows. That you can comfort. There are orphans you can comfort. There are poor that you can comfort. But because of time, you know, when I want us to pray, and I want us to just pray. But I just want to, in general, let the heart of comforter, let that heart be our heart. Let that spirit of comforter, let it come upon us in the name of Jesus. And for you to see, when we are talking about you looking for comfort, you, look, you really want to experience it. Look at, you know, I'm looking at time, but let me just, I, I still want to show you something. Look at the kind of hospitality 
the kind of open hand, openness, the kind of entertainment that Abraham did. Bible says, and there the Lord appeared unto him in the plain of Mamre. And he sat as he sat in the in the tent door in the heat of the and he lit up his eye and looked and lo, how many men come to him? Three men. How many men? If we kill one cow, do you think all of us here we can finish one cow? Eh? All of us here tonight. Can we finish one cow? We can't finish one cow. What of three people? Can, can you see the kind of open art? Now, maybe you didn't see it. Let's see. Okay, we didn't read that place. And Abraham says, Abraham hastened unto the tent. Even you, you, you see the manner. Can, can you give me this place in the message version? You see the manner. He's not sluggish. Abraham hurry into the tent to Sarah. It's not, it's not comp, there's no compulsion. You, uh, you didn't understand. There's no compulsion. He wants to do, he wants to do them good. Now, did, did, does he need to be hurry? No. But the heart, that the spirit that I'm praying that God will input in our hearts. He's for strangers. And you are hurry and see if, ah, is it, is it, you are even doing it more than us. They see that you are in a hurry. They see that maybe you want to pick them, you want to help them. You, are, you even arrive before them. They say, ah, we also, we, we just thought it's 7 o'clock and you, you have been here by 6.30. He, see, he hurried just to help people. Just to support, just to bring comfort. He told them so I can bring comfort into their heart. It's not just their body, it's looking at the heart, that their heart will receive comfort. And Abraham already hastened to the tent unto Hera, unto Sarah, and said, Make ready quickly three measures. Okay, let me read it in the message so we can get it better. Get three cups of our best. I know some of us, you will just look for the, the bad wall or the, just, well, at the, 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 look at the fridge, the food that we, that we have left for, we didn't finish in Thanksgiving, you know, I'm too tired now to cook. <laughs> Get the cost of our best flour, knead it, and make bread. First, say seven. Then Abraham ran to the cattle pen and picked out a nice plum calf. A nice one. The one that is plum calf. And gave it to the servant who lost no time getting it ready. Now see that kind of act. You want to help. Don't delay it. You have that money to give. Don't delay it. Don't just give the leftover. Give the nice one. You want to give him the suit? Give the nice one. You whatever. Give the nice one. Don't put it in the hand of people that will be wasting time. Get people that are ready. People that are also ready. They are not going to waste time. That's the kind of art. That I'm praying that God will give to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let, let me read one more verse, verse 8. Then he got cuts and meek, brought them with the calf that had been roasted, set the meat before the men, and he stood there under the tree while they eat. That is strange, uncommon. Hospitality. He was still standing for them when they are hitting. You know, some of us, you are not even sitting there in the game where your husband is sitting, or you talk less of when stranger we eat. He was still standing there. Some of us just give, you know, 
girls don't care. He just gave them why they were hit. And he stood there. Now, you know, the reason why I'm sharing that is because you see how difficult it is when you serve food and you are sitting there and you, you are not eating. It's very boring. But this kind of help is help that you are standing to make sure that they enjoy the help. They enjoy the help. I know the enemy is changing us, but by the grace of God, we will, we will, we will refuse to be changed by the enemy in Jesus' name. It's very difficult now for somebody to just come to this church as a new person and he doesn't have a house, doesn't have a person. And I say, brother, this, please come. You know, if I have myself, I will not be able to do that too. I say, please, can he come and sleep in your house? But you know, with the spirit of God, God will help us. That we have the, I know there are wicked men, but God will give us discernment. So that we will still not we will still not push away angels. Angels that we're supposed to help. People we're supposed to support. And because, ah, oh, town is difficult. Ten is difficult. Ten is this. Now just because like I will just pray now about kidnappers. I know those are real, but let us be more spiritual. So that we can help ourselves. So that the fall, you know now, if anybody comes, the first, you are, the first thing that will come into your mind is suspicion. That, ah, it's not real. Hmm. You better shine your face. That, that should not be the first thing. I'm not sure you should not be careful, but that should not be the first thing. There are real people that need help. And because of the situation, we have just pushed them away to the enemy. I pray that God will restore that. The heart to do, the heart to do good. To do good to ourselves. When we see ourselves, you are ready. You see, this is my brethren. Yesterday morning, you know, I went to go and do something. And I saw this couple, you know, after finishing with them, I said, oh, where are you going? I said, we want to take bus from here. And I, were, and I was already, you know, I was, I was busy. Let me, I was, I was busy. I said, okay, let me just take you. You know, they were surprised that I'm taking them to another church to go and worship. Uh -huh. You know, they were surprised that I'm a pastor and they are going to another church. And you know, I was explaining to them, I said, you know, it's only because things have spoiled now. Once you say you are a Christian, you are my brother, you are my sister. Talk less of you are a redeemed member. Talk that you are a redeemed member. That you are, you know, I just pray that uh, God will help us. So they were, they were, they couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it. I've, that's the first time I'm going to see them. I, but I believe that uh, they will not collect my car when I put them inside the car. I just... <laughs> I just believe that uh, they will not harm me. I just believe that, you know, I, you know, I just believe. But they, they were surprised. And I pray that I, I, I will do that more and more in Jesus' name. Even to strangers. And I pray God will help us. So let me just show you one more thing for you to experience um, uh, comfort. And this one, uh, Psalm 23, verse 4. And I think uh, my wife also was leading us in prayer on this. And this is, um, this, the first one is what you will do. This one is what God will do. So I just want to share those two. Then maybe when we have this uh, meeting another time we, and we come across this part, I can share more, um, I can share more on this. Um, maybe share more of my notes with us. Now, Psalm 23, verse 4, yea. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. This is what God will do for you to receive comfort. 
you need God's rod and God's staff. And you know the two of them are made from the same material. But they do different purpose. But because it's from God. This is what you should allow God to do. The rod is for correction. Allow God to correct you through his word. Take the correction. Take his word. Allow him to correct you. Then the staff is talking about authority. Let him be the authority in your life. Let him be the final. Let's obey. Let's listen. Let him be able to instruct us. He said, I will go before you. Then you will not, you know, when you go before you, that's the way to go. You will not enter into the bush. When you allow him to go before you, before you make a decision, you want comfort in business, comfort in your home, comfort in your marriage. You want to go and marry somebody that you want. You want, you want to go already. Then when you come back and say, God, I have gone to that person. I love that sister. You know, I love her. I love. You are now reporting what you love to God. That's not going to work. You are reporting what you love to God. You are love that brother. No, let him go ahead of you. Let him give you his direction. Let his staff, that is standing for authority. Let what he say be what you are saying. And when he corrects you, is in Hebrews chapter 12, I say that a son that the father love is chastised. He said, your rod, let that rod, that correction, let it bring comfort unto you. Let it, let, 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 let it not make you angry. Let it bring comfort to you. And the Lord of heaven will bring comfort to us in the name of Jesus. We will experience comfort every day, every part, every area, all side comfort. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will experience comfort. So, as I just share those two things, I pray that the grace of God will rest upon it and the Lord will help us because now we can pray. We can pray. This prayer we want to pray is going to work because of God's anointing here. It's going to work because of God's presence in this place. But this one I share with you it's what will help you to keep them. It's what will help you to keep them. It's what will help you to retain it. And it will be part of your life. So that once you are helping, you know, in my language they say that women being are my, it's my clothes. I don't know if I, you know, yeah, it's, it's right, right? People is my clothes. In your last song, you know, this English that we borrow, you know, God will help us. But, you know, when you have people, you have comfort. When you are alone, you will lack comfort. And that's why you need to be a helper, to be the one that will help people. And once you allow the word of God, you allow the word of God to give you direction, to correct you, Maybe you hear it, you read it from the word of God. You are not hardening your heart. You are not hardening your heart. You listen. You will receive comfort. And comfort will be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's rise up as we just pray. Just pray for those things. Two things I mentioned before we start praying. You know, before we start praying that God himself will intervene. I want to pray that God will enlarge your heart for hospitality. God will enlarge your heart. Enlarge my heart to do good. Enlarge my heart to do good. Maybe somebody have, you know, they have wounded your heart. Ask God to heal those wounds. Those wounds is hindering you from receiving greater, greater comfort, greater joy, greater open door. Lord, enlarge my heart in the name of Jesus. And pray, Lord, that God, Father, let my ears not turn from your instruction. In the name of Jesus, let me not reject when you correct me. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your word be final. 
In the name of Jesus, let your authority stay in my life, in my home, in the name of Jesus. Open door for God's authority. Open doors for God's instruction. Have you want to enjoy comfort in your marriage? Just open door for God and say, God, rain, rain, rain. Just rain. Just let your word stay. Just let your word, let your command, Lord, let it stay in this place. Let your word be our command. Let your word be what we follow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help me, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh, you are sleeping? In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Mark chapter 40. And we're going to pick our first prayer point in the place. Please don't sit down and get set to pray. Mark chapter 40. Something happened in that place. And I pray that as God touched that man, God will touch you. God will touch us. In the name of Jesus. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Sorry, I think, uh, is that not what I mentioned before? Oh, sorry. So that's why you're looking at where is Mark chapter 40. <laughs> All right, it is where Mark chapter 10. Um, okay, I want us to start from verse 40 before, but let me just start from here. And they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great member, number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Tamius, sat by the highway side, begging. You know, the story of your family that they have attached to blindness with shame tonight in the name of Jesus. They did not just say blind Bartimaeus. They mention, they go to his family. So you don't know that this one who is the son. So that means the name of, I don't know how many people, when you walk on the street, know your son. Name. Can you see how this man has experienced discomfort, has experienced sorrow? His name has become street name. His name has become street name. His name has become street name. You will not see another person in the Bible that that they said this trouble, people that are on the way, and they go to their family. They will just mention the name. They say, hey, they can say, certain man, or mention the first name. But this one, his story that become public issue. Blind Bartimaeus, they have added a name to his first name to make it a compound name. Everything that the enemy have added to compound your problem, to compound trouble, the hand of the Lord will uproot it in the name of Jesus. Say, Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Tamius, sat by the highway side begging. Everything that put you in position of a beggar, everything that put you in the class of beggars. The hand of the Lord will help put it today in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. From the company of beggars, from the register of beggars, I remove my name. I remove my family name. I remove my son. I remove my daughter. Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. From the, from the company of beggars, from the company of beggars, from the register of beggars, I remove my name in the name of Jesus. I remove my name in the name of Jesus. I remove my name. I remove my destiny. My destiny will not beg in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Some of us are not waiting to pray. Please pray. This man was sitting by the highway begging. This man was sitting by the highway begging. 
The man that should be on the highway, should be on the high seat, should be in the high position, they have turned his highway to become a begging place. If everybody is asking, where are you? I'm on the highway. I'm on the top. But yet with on the top that you are, you are still begging. The man was still a director, yet a beggar. Oh Lord. I remove my name from the company of beggars. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, today I remove my name from the company of beggars. In the mighty name of Jesus, I remove my name in the mighty name of Jesus. I remove my family. I remove my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'm still waiting for us to wake up and for God to give us understanding. Because I'm saying and I've not said that very many of us, you, have, you understand what I'm saying. This man was in the highway. He's in the high place. He has children. Like others, he will bless more than them. But yet, he's still begging. He's in the high position. Yet, he's still begging. He's in the place, he's in America. We are everybody in a dreamy. Many people are doing everything to come. Yet you are here in the high country. Still begging. Lord, today. From the company of beggars. Let my name be found wanting. Let my name be missing in the company of beggars. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift your voice and pray. Remove your name. What is it that you want to bring you in a high place? And all that you want to do in high place is to be begging. Lord, I reject it. I refuse to be a beggar in my high place. I refuse to be a beggar in my high place. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to be a mother. And yet I don't have children to take care of me. Heo marande bo santo libra ke. Likete gana bro lo bo suto libra. I refuse to be a father. Yeah, there is no one of the children that is useful unto me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I refuse. In the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be a beggar. In the name of Jesus. Can you please pray? Remove your name from that company of beggars today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remove your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remove your name from the company of beggars. In the mighty name of Jesus. I remove my name. Father, in the name of Jesus. I remove my name from that company of beggars. In the mighty name of Jesus. I remove my name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I remove my name. I remove my family. I remove my children. I remove my husband. In the name of Jesus. Can you please pray? Remove everyone that are around you. Everyone important to you. Let their play be shifted. Be shifted from the place of beggar. In the name of Jesus. And let them be in their high place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I will allow us to pray for somebody, but still pray this prayer for yourself first. I want you to pray for yourself first. There's something in Isaiah chapter 20, verse 20. Maybe let me read that before I continue on that. So maybe you understand what I'm saying. This man is in place. He has something, but yet he did not have. 
And I want us to pray. There are things that is, something is making you comfortable in the place of discomfort. God, the hand of the Lord will fight that thing. By force, whatever keeping you comfortable in discomfort, the hand of the Lord will scatter that power in the name of Jesus. Okay, I start 20, 20. Look at this. For the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself. And the covering is narrower than that they can wrap himself. So if they are talking about people that have bed, he will also be saying, I have bed. You do understand. He also be, ah, how many people have bed here? I have bed. But yet, he cannot, he can stretch. You have that place of authority, yet you cannot stretch. You are in that high place, yet yeah, there is nothing that is high. There is no, the benefit is not attached to it. You have the covering, but yet yeah, you cannot cover yourself. You are still in discomfort. I want you to pray. The Lord, the hand of the Lord will remove you from that place of discomfort. Every power Keeping me in the place of discomfort. Every power. Please look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You get a place for yourself like this. Just stand by yourself. And you'll be, you'll be removing yourself. You will be removing yourself. Every power. Repeat after me. Every power. Every power. Making me comfortable. In the place of discomfort. Do you understand the prayer now? Every power. Keeping me comfortable. In the place of discomfort. Leave me alone. In the name of Jesus. Every power. Let the fire of God. Scatter that power. Every hand. Keep me in that place of discomfort. In the name of Jesus. Making me comfortable. I can no longer be comfortable. In the place of discomfort. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God. Cut off those hands. In the name of Jesus. Everything making me comfortable. In the place of discomfort. In the name of Jesus. Lord by your fire. Separate us. Separate us. Separate us. Separate us. In the name of Jesus. Separate us. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. Everything that making me to have. And yet I do not have. Yet it is not sufficient. From today. In the name of Jesus. Lord separate us. Lord separate us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord separate us today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Three powerful amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus name. Yes let's go back to that mark. Then before I bring one more scripture. That mark chapter 10. Yes. And they came to first um, Verse 47 now. Let's just pray one more prayer point here. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. He began to cry. He had. Have mercy on me. Verse 48. Verse 48. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. And he cried the more with a great deal. Thou son of David, now have mercy on me. You know, I've told you several times, when you are, it's not biblical to be praying under your bread. It's not biblical. Though. And when you pray with your voice, it's not Africa, it is biblical. It is be, he cried and he cried more. When you come to a place of prayer, cry. 
We don't have any other power, nothing. He is the place of prayer. You are crying to your father. So when you come to a place of prayer, cry to him. Many things we want to shut you down. Sleep don't allow you to shut you down. He cried the more with a great deal. That son of David, have mercy on me. Now, verse 49. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. You will be called in high places. I said, because of your case, the heights of heaven will stand upon you in the name of Jesus. Jesus stood still. Hey. Heavens. Heavens. Will be open upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Our case. We catch the attention of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where you think there is no man. There is no man. There are no men. There are no people. God will show up for you in the name of Jesus. Because you are under this covenant of this prayer tonight. We are men. Have been ridiculed you. We are men. I've been passing you by. They have been reproaching you. And nobody is ready to stand to help. Today, God will stand to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. He will send men to help you. He will send men to help you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those men that have been shouting, keep quiet, keep quiet. There is no room, no room for you. They are the ones that will turn to be your helpers. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will turn back to be your helpers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, Jesus stood, stood still, please, and called him. And they called the blind man. Hmm. They have forgotten his name now. They called the blind man. But don't worry. All those things, just like the word of God has come to us. You are here, you know. It just, you are just tired. I love the word. He said, you just feel that the life is as I've been preparing you. Things is becoming difficult. This man, at least they mentioned his name before. But now, his name has been removed. He's now a blind man. Not blind, but he must again. I think when they, when they said bad Blatimus, they can still remember this is Blatimus. But now they are, the life has become difficult. But you are here tonight. God will remove all that garment of difficulty in the name of Jesus. He said not to be of good comfort. Rise, he called thee. Rise. Ha. As soon as the man heard that, verse 50, the Bible says, and he Casting away the garment of discomfort and rose and came to Jesus. You are going to pray. Every garment of discomfort upon my life, upon my destiny, upon my marriage, upon my home, what are you waiting for? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every garment of discomfort upon my studies, upon my career, in the name of Jesus, let your fire consume them. You are not praying. That garment can no longer go home with you. That garment of discomfort can no longer go home with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, that garment of discomfort will no longer leave this place with you. Lord, every garment of discomfort, in the name of Jesus, catch fire! In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Get one person that can pray. Get one person, just hold his hand. Go her hand. Help me garment of discomfort. In this my in the life of this, my brother. In the life of this, my sister. Let your fire consume it. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray for that brother. In the name of you will no longer, you will no longer go with, with discomfort. In the name of Jesus. 
That is not your portion. God may not discover upon your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume it. In the name of Jesus. Pray for that person. Let your fire consume it. Let your fire consume it. In the name of Jesus. Let your fire get out of discomfort. Upon my brother. Upon my sister. Upon this my, my, my mother. Lord let your fire. Please pray if you are watching us online. Please pray. You are with your husband. Join your hand with your husband. Join your hand with your wife. Join your hand with your children. Garment of discomfort in that home. Fire! Lord, let your fire consume every garment of discomfort in the name of Jesus. Every salary of discomfort, let your fire consume in the name of Jesus. All the profit of discomfort, profit that is still bringing discomfort into your life, Remove them, remove them, remove them in Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Now, pray for yourself once again. Look at me again. Every garment of discomfort, I remove you upon my life, upon my destiny. Wherever you know you are experiencing discomfort, begin to remove them. Begin to remove them. Every garment of discomfort, in the name of Jesus. Every garment of discomfort in the name of Jesus. Garment that did not allow me to see me. Garment that is not bringing comfort to my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Garment making me comfortable in the place of discomfort. I remove them. I remove them. I remove them. I remove them in the name of Jesus. Upon my career, I remove them in the name of Jesus. All that discomfortable mark, discomfortable grade. Reject them from now. Reject those great. We reject them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's pray one more prayer. Focus. Acts chapter three. Acts chapter. This another man. Something kept him comfortable in the place of discomfort. God is shifting us tonight. That thing you think that is, you are just comfortable there, yet he's not comfortable. You are just managing your head. You, have, you are comfortable now with using medication in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night, and you, you say, at least I'm okay. You just, and yet it's discomfort. But some of us have become comfortable. All those places of comfort that is actually a place of discomfort. God will change you from the place in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring you to the place of actual comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. Acts chapter 3 from verse 1. Yes. Now Peter and John went together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the night hour fast too. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried. Whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask arms of them that enter to the temple. Now this man can enter to the temple himself, but they did not allow him. He could not enter. He was comfortable at the beautiful gate. And there is nothing beautiful in his life. And you know, when I'm talking about beggar in the high place, this is also beggar in the beautiful place. That when people look around, they say, no, 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 this is a beautiful place. But what is he doing in the beautiful place? Begging. Any beauty that's around you, you are not enjoying. From today, you begin to enjoy it. Resources, you are inside money. Money is all around you. Opportunities are all around you. But yeah, you could not get into that opportunity. From today, you begin to enter into that opportunity in the name of Jesus. You begin to enjoy it in the name of Jesus. Whatever that tie you down, be loose in the name of Jesus. 
Be loose in the name of Jesus. All right, let's move on. He was asking hands. Now, I want to just read a portion to show you something before we come back to this prayer. Who we'll see Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask and arms. Fast four. Go a bit further to where the man was, uh, was in. I think fast six. Let me see. We'll go to fast seven. Okay, and he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and his ankle balls received strength. That's your portion today. Amen. Receive strength. Amen. See, those status have told us God is our strength. Receive that strength. Amen. The strength of a comforter. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now see what the man did after he received strength. Verse 8. And he leaping up stood and walk and enter with them. Now see, the man can leap, the man can stand, the man can walk, yet he was comfortable in the place he was sitting down. There are all these things that he can do. He can enter. Now when you go later, just because of time, when you read further, people are coming to church because of him. But yet, he was coming before because of people. You didn't understand? He was coming because of people so that he can get. But now, people are coming now. How? For who? Because of him. There are people that your life is attached to that they can receive help. They can receive sight. They can receive joy because of you. But yet the enemy has put us in the beautiful gate and there is no beauty. There is no beauty. Yet the enemy has put us in that place. I want us to now pray. Let's go back to fast two now and let's pray. Not all the prayer of this place God is put in my heart tonight but there is one particular one that God is putting in my heart. And I want you to please pray because I know that God is directing my spirit to that particular area. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried. He became a body. He became a body. He became a body. He became a body. The man became a body in their carry. You will not be a body. In the name of Jesus. At the end of your years, at the end of your age, at the end of your life, you will not become a burden in the name of Jesus. At the middle of your years, at the evening of your years, you will not become a burden in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself. I refuse to be a body. Mm. I refuse to be a body. In the name of Jesus. Lift God, just pray. Pray for yourself. In the day, in my days, in my night, in my evening, I will not be a body. My children shall not be a body. Ha. My wife shall not be a body. In the name of Jesus. Marebo sotole crane basutoli grade. I will not be a body. In the name of Jesus. My wife shall not be a body. I will not be a body to anybody. In the name of Jesus. I will not be a body. In the name of Jesus. I will not be a body. In the name of Jesus. I will not be a body. My wife shall not be a body. My children shall not be a body. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a body. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a body. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a body. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus 
Mighty name we pray. I want you to please pray. I want you to please pray. Body is a discomfort. It's a discomfort to you. Discomfort to the people that is carrying you. And I want you to please pray. You are going to pray like this. Pray for your children. Children. And pray for your parents. And if you happen to have the two of them, you have double prayer to pray. If you are a parent, my children shall not become a body to me. My children shall not become a body to me. You are a child. My parents shall not become a body to me. And you have the two of them. Pray for your parents. Pray for your children. Call the name of Jesus three times. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not become a body. I will not become body to my children. I will not become body to my wife. My children shall not become body to me. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will not carry me around. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. They will not carry me around. I will not carry my children around. They will not become body. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will carry the man. Carry him and put him down. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not become a body. My children shall not become a body. My wife shall not become a body. In the name of Jesus. My mother shall not become a body. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every powers that want me to become body. Let that power be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Every forces. Every voice. That want me to be a body. Let the voice be silenced. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Parents, please pray. When it is time for you to enjoy your children, they will not become body that will be carrying around. Oh, they will not become body that will be carrying around. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. They carry this man that was wounded from his mother's womb. That was lame from his mother's from his mother's womb. Please pray. Hold yourself like this. I don't know what that arrow may be. That is discomfort. The arrow of discomfort enter this man. From his mother's womb. I want you to carry yourself, hold yourself like this. Hold yourself like this. Every arrow of discomfort, every arrow of discomfort, oh, say it like you mean it. Every arrow of discomfort. Attached to my body, attached to my destiny, come out by fire. Lift your voice and pray. Every hallow of discomfort, hallow of discomfort, come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Come out by fire. Every hallow of discomfort in the name of Jesus, attached to my body, attached to my destiny. In the name of Jesus, attached to my name, come out by fire. Every hurdle of discomfort, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, 
In the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Every hour of discomfort. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Come out. That sickness. I command you out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every discomfort in your marriage. Out. In the name of Jesus. Every hurdle of discomfort. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I separate you from my destiny tonight. In the name of Jesus. Every hurdle of discomfort. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Every hurdle of discomfort. I command you from today out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want to run over, but and I had this instruction. And I want us to please use it to pray. And I know when God interrupts, my prayers like that and speak like this is for somebody. And it's what God wants to do. I want you to hold your leg. Just hold your leg like this. Listen to the prayer before you pray it. God is saying somebody here. You have walked into a place that has brought discomfort into your, into your life. This is your feet. And so we want to remove everything. Whatever discomfort that have, that have entered into your life through this leg. You are delivered today. In the name of Jesus. As you hold those two legs. Whatever position you know that you can hold your leg. You are going to pray. Every discomfort that have entered into my life through this my feet. Everywhere this my leg have touched and has brought this comfort from today I am free. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray as you can pray for yourself. That your feet is free. Everywhere that your feet have touched and have brought this comfort unto your life. Brought this comfort into your home. Brought this comfort into your destiny. You are receiving freedom today. Lord, free me. Don't begin to pray. By your mercy tonight, free me. In the name of Jesus. of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Just hold your hand on those legs. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every arrows that have entered any leg here, enter any life through their feet, I command in the name of Jesus. That arrow come out in the name of Jesus. I said that discomfort that have entered into your life, into your family, 
Because of your leg. Because of your feet. Because of where you go. Because of where you stay. From today, I command that poison. I command that poison. Out in the name of Jesus. That leg is free. In the name of Jesus. That leg is free. From today in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. You can remove your hand now and just bless God. Just thank him. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus. I commit your people unto your hand. Every garment of discomfort. Let your fire consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every garment of discomfort. Let your fire consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every agent, every agent, every power sponsoring discomfort. Into your life, into your marriage. Let the fire of the Lord consume the power in the name of Jesus. All the altars that have been raised. To service discomfort. To service discomfort into your life. Into your home. Let the fire of God consume the heart in the name of Jesus. Hey, where they have said your feet will not reach for glory. From today. From today. They have said your feet will never know the way again. I open that door. That door of progress. That door of moving forward. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That door of greatness. I hope only before you. Go and achieve in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever discover that I've been growing with you. From today, I separate you from them. I separate you from them. In the mighty name of Jesus. I separate you from them. In the name of Jesus Christ. The man leave, the man enter. That place that they have closed the door against you, receive strength to enter. Receive strength to possess. In the mighty name of Jesus. They came to show because of the man from today, from far and from near. Men that have, they have run away from you. They are coming back to celebrate you. They are coming back to celebrate you. Friends that have they have they have they have left you. They have shared their number just because of you. They have shared their number because of you. They relocated because of you. They did not tell you their address. Uh, God, when God has finished with you. They are coming back to celebrate. They are coming back to celebrate. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have been waiting for long. I said, when we may gather also together to celebrate with me. This is your season. This is your season. I said, this is your time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Lord of comfort. He will comfort you from every side. All the side that they have run away, they are coming from that side. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not know discomfort. You will not know sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Lord, receive all the praise. We return all the glory to you. We return all the honor to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Dickness. Can, can we just celebrate Jesus? Praise the Lord.